three, two, one. Hi everyone, Sayu here. Welcome to my new video. Today we'll be having a look at Genshin Impact's new tweet where they have gathered feedback and suggestions from travelers, the players of this wonderful game. Before anything, look at this cute little picture. Isn't that adorable? Anyway. They have gathered feedback from the players, handpicked it and given them over to the developers to answer the questions that we care for the most. And of course, as we can see, number one is talking about resin. Oh, oh the community sure do like this resin system. I mean, it's a gacha game. Resin is just the stamina system to reduce how much you play the game. So you can't mid-max. A lot of people do like min-maxing. Personally, it's not my type of thing because you min-max and then you don't play the game anymore, which is bad in Genshin Impact's case because they want you to play the game. And this is a beautiful, wonderful game to explore. And I know a lot of people would disagree and that's okay. People have different opinions and different ways they love to enjoy games. Anyway, moving on to the first question. I never have enough original resin, which makes it difficult to complete various daily tasks and the weekly battle pass missions. Now, the battle pass missions, I've struggled with this as well. Played every day, played a lot and couldn't finish those requirements. The developers have said in version 1.1, the next update coming out on the 11th of November, I believe, they have decreased the original resin requirement in the Battle Pass weekly missions from 1600 to 1200. That's a whole 300 resin saved. Uh, that is really, really good. I, I like that change. Furthermore, travelers will be able to store up to a maximum of 160 original resin which is increased from the current 120 cap. Now, this is a very small change. This is just, you know, filling up the cup a bit more, as a lot of people have said and memed about. Uh, people are not happy. Personally, I'm okay with this because it just, it means they're making changes. They know people don't like this resin system. I understand why it's in place. I don't necessarily have any issues with it. I would like to see some changes. We have to start somewhere. They have to start somewhere. And I'm glad they are actually making changes. Please keep, just keep giving them feedback. They can't make everyone happy and it just is what it is. Question two, I want to change the key bindings and or controller setup. Now, I, I said the same thing when the game came out. I'm like, why can't I change my F button to E? I like looting things with E, but there was no way to change your key binds. Well, they have said we are in the process of developing a key bindings and controller setup function, part of which will go live in version 1.1. We're firing on all cylinders to complete the remaining functionality, which will become available to players in a later version. So we will get some customization, I guess, with the setup function of key binding. So I hope I can change that F to E. Number three, I wish there were more ways to filter artifacts. A good quality of life right here. In version 1.1, we have added new filters for artifacts based on their basic attributes. Now travelers will be able to easily filter artifacts by attributes. We can finally sort by attack because we know attack is all we care about, right? And crit and crit. Number four, traversing the game world is consuming. Well, time consuming rather. I want to be able to set my own teleport waypoints for areas that I frequently visit, such as I guess there could be an elite enemy that you often fight and the waypoint is all the way across the water, like that earth boss. There's plenty, there's plenty of reasons. We have developed an item that provides this kind of function, which will be available for free and a new system. Travelers can look out for this version in 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, I believe this was uh, in some of the leaks for 1.1 and it is confirmed to be an item that we will be able to obtain in some new system. Who knows what that is? We'll just have to wait and see. Number five, it's annoying to have to select equipped artifacts and weapons to find out which character has them equipped. Uh, I find this annoying too. In version 1.1, small character avatars will appear next to the icons of equipped artifacts and weapons, allowing travelers to know exactly which characters have which artifacts and weapons equipped at a glance. Very nice quality of life function right there. Now we go to the developer Q&A, which is just one question with one very detailed answer. And this is just a question 
It's a very specific one. It's about a question about how is damage calculated when I have more than one shield and which shield sustains the damage first. So yeah, this is more just straight combat related. In practice, when a character is hit, the damage sustained will affect every active shield simultaneously. After this damage is calculated, if the character still has shield or shields remaining, the character themselves will not take damage. For example, let's say you are using the character Bido with both her tight collar active at 100 and Noelle's breastplate at 20. If a monster deals 10 damage to Beto, Tidecaller now has 90 remaining, whilst Breastplate has 10 remaining. Beto does not take damage. Alternatively, if a monster deals 50 damage to Beto, Tidecaller now has 50 remaining, whereas Breastplate has been exhausted and destroyed. Beto does not take damage. If a monster deals 110 damage to Beto, both shields are exhausted and destroyed, whilst Beto takes the excess 10 damage. And please note the above example does not take into account damage reductions or absorption effect enhancements of any kind. So the gist is shields don't stack. They both take the damage at the same time. Can't really have a whole shield team. The thought process behind the shield design is using elemental interactions during combat is Genshin Impact's fundamental combat strategy. Building on this aspect of gameplay is the tactic of using elemental shields to absorb damage of the same element. The mechanic we designed, whereby characters' defensive shields have 250% absorption effectiveness against elemental damage of the same type, is likewise based on the aforementioned consideration. In one respect, our decision not to employ stackable shields in our design was to avoid the need for players to acquire many shield type characters. This would also have a negative effect on the diverse party tactics that we were hoping to see. Of course, retaining one or two types of of elemental shields is also a perfectly valid strategy against complex elemental damage and this can also be achieved rather easily through the crystallized reaction and that marks the end of this developer discussion and they just tell them to get back to work i'm happy for these quality of life changes the resin of course is a big a big gray area because there's so many people who agree and disagree with like how it should work depending on how they like to play a game and it's totally understandable people like what they like and dislike what they dislike i would like to take this moment to remind everyone that in your mail in genshin impact you will have been sent a survey there will be some more to collect and more more will be sent to you after you complete the survey so all of this feedback that they have have addressed here was collected in the surveys. They had like two other surveys before. I think this is the third one. So please, if you want to see changes, do not yell into the void on Twitter, on Discord, wherever you're yelling. It's no, it's going to no one. If you want to see good changes in this game, if you want to support this game, if you love this game and want to see it grow and thrive, please fill in those surveys, give your suggestions and tell them what you like and dislike about the game. And that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please hit that like button and also subscribe today to join the mess. And don't forget to ding ding that little notification button to be notified for future videos. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.